Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, it's, it's such a pleasure to be with you in this unprecedented time when we're trying to work uh, together farther apart. I'm uh, David Armstrong, I'm professor of surgery uh, at uh, the Keck School of Medicine of University of Southern California here in beautiful Los Angeles. And in this unprecedented time now, uh, we're trying to deal with so many things and it's a little like drinking from the fire hose. But let me break it down for you. Let me take you not to the top of the body, uh, but to the end of the body. Uh, right now, let's think a little bit about feet. You know, every 1.2 seconds now around the world, someone develops a diabetic foot ulcer. Every about a third of a second now, someone develops a chronic wound of any type. About half of those wounds become infected. A good portion of those infections end up in the emergency department uh, and in the hospital. Yeah. And these are the patients that are at greatest risk for COVID-19 morbidity and indeed mortality. These are the people that we uh, here at Salsa, uh, at USC and Rancho Los Amigos are taking care of every day. And we're struggling with how do we stem the tide? Well, some of the answer uh, has been there all along and it's by telehealth. We've been working with FaceTime, with Zoom, with various other kinds of telemedicine applications, store and forward kinds of apps that you can have on your phone for a very long time. And they have become more and more mature. And what, what I would ask for, and I'm just kind of putting this out there because there is no real answer, but I would ask for is for all of you to help and figure out ways uh, to streamline federal legislations from the United States and other nations uh, so we can get clinicians, physicians, surgeons, nurses, therapists, other technicians uh, to be able to reach out to our patients where they live, in their home, where they're safe, and to keep them there and to keep them safe uh, and to try in my little world to keep a few more legs on a few more bodies, to keep more, a few more folks out of emergency departments, and ultimately keep a few more people alive because those folks that we're keeping alive, they're our loved ones. And ladies and gentlemen, I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much uh, for thinking about this and for trying to figure out a solution. Here's to making a difference.